and, and, and I think it's actually kind of peaking today okay. and tonight, and then gradually tomorrow it'll actually start to come down a little bit for them. Not a whole lot, but slowly over the next 24 to 48 hours, the swell, at least for the Florida side, the east side of Florida will start to come back down. We got nothing here on our side. Unfortunately, I could, I'd like a little bit of waves to surf, but we don't want any of that problem. Uh, 430 miles from Jacksonville Beach to the center of the storm right now. Let's talk Hurricane Aaron. Winds are at 110 miles per hour. That is offshore. All right, uh, now all of that high wind will stay offshore. It's going to be moving off towards the north at 14 miles per hour. It's it, it wobbles when they get strong. They wobble. But if you ask me, I, it, it is that's from here to here. That's a little bit more than a wobble. I think it's going north northeast now, and that's a great sign because that means it'll stay a little bit further offshore of the Carolinas. You can see the eye that popped up out there for today. You can see the rain that's on the northwest side, but generally it's just the heaviest rain will stay offshore and they'll get some of these outer rain bands that come through. This is getting a little bit closer and I got a feeling they might end up getting a little bit more rain than that. But here we go. This is the forecast as of five o'clock, the very latest that we saw. Going to 115 now, it's at 110 now, so it's not going up much, but they do think it gets there later tonight and early tomorrow morning, and then it moves out to the north and the east, and actually will get picked up by some upper level winds and just kind of blown out quickly. It'll, it'll get sheared apart, and then it's actually moving over cooler water. Right now, it's over the warmest water it's seen in its lifespan, and that's one of the reasons why it got stronger today. Other areas in the tropics, we're watching this little wave here, trying to curve and develop here. By the way, following Aaron up and out, great news. And then we have this one over here that came off of Africa that is coming west, but doesn't look as good. The middle one is the one that the GFS said was going to get into the Gulf of Mexico as a hurricane. So remember that on the internet about five, six days ago? That's what it looks like right now. There's not much to it. Here's the forecast model from the European, and this is usually one of the better models. Here it is here as we get into Friday. That's Saturday, then into Sunday. The wave behind it, by the end of this weekend and Monday, it's getting close to the Caribbean. Notice that one's up and out. Great news there. And then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, somewhere here in the Caribbean, and that's around 1 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. What you don't see is a bunch of circles here indicating a deep, low pressure and a developed tropical system. Perfect. We will take that. That's the way we want to see it.